right now, wrestling fans, it is indeed a pleasure to have here with us on Pro Wrestling USA, the senior illust editor of Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Bill After. Bill, welcome to Pro Wrestling Thank USA. By the way, I want to say that this is just one of the finest wrestling shows I've ever seen. Also, uh, as you know, fans all around the world every year vote in different categories for their favorite wrestlers in various categories. And this year, fans unanimous, unanimously have voted Precious Paul Ellering, the manager of the year, and the Road Warriors, the tag team of the year. All gentlemen, right, well, gentlemen, uh, obviously congratulations are in order. <laughs> well, in the most humble manner that the Precious One and the Legion of Doom can bring to bear on the subject. We deserve these awards because we are the greatest, the greatest of all time and the greatest of our time. And the idiots out there obviously recognize that fact. Weighing 235 pounds from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, part of the Axe Attack, Kurt Hennig. His tag team partner from the Republic of Germany, weighing 283 pounds, the Claw Master, Baron von Reschka. And ladies and gentlemen, in the ring to my left, accompanied by their manager, Precious Paul Ellering, with a combined weight of 565 pounds from Chicago, Illinois, the AWA Tag Team Champions of the World, the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors. And a big close-fisted punch by the Hawk. Kurt Hennig is on his knees. Off the ropes. Oh, and a big elbow smashed by the Hawk. The Baron reaching for the tag. He's got to get up and fight. Or at least get He's up. got to wrestle. He's got to be tough. He'd like to just There's make no that No tomorrow. Tag. Instead, the Hawk tags the animal. Here comes the big man. That's what we got carved on a tree at home. There's no tomorrow. There's only today. He's going to have to do it. Kurt Hennig. Two-fisted again. Oh, backbreaker. One. Wow. Twice. He turns it around to show the other side. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm getting nine. aggravated with that right now. I can tell you that. Larry the Axe Hennig sitting uh, with me. I don't know how much of this he can take. There's a gotta get out of there. One, two. Knocked away. I thought he was almost gonna get a hit scissors for a minute, but at least he broke the hole. Reverse headlock now by the animal. Chin lock. Of course, no submission, no question about that. The animal working on Kurt Hennig, who took three rushing backbreakers. Well, he's got that knee right in the right in the spine, and he's drawn back on that chin. You know, he's just, he could give up any time. I hope I know him that well, and he won't do it. Larry Lazowski says, "Come on, come on, what are you saying?" Kurt says, "No way." Trying to get out of that hole, Baron von Raschka, you see him on the left of your screen, getting the crowd going, he's getting that German blood pumped up. And look at Kurt, look at Kurt twisting and turning, Got to Power fight out of there. Up. Kurt Hennig, he's got to fight. Still the animal holds on. No, Kurt again, full blast to the turnbuckles, but he met the animal with the legs and the feet. Head full throttle. Now, there's the tag. Here comes the Baron. Oh, fingers to the eyes of the animal, to the hawk. The Baron is working. Uh, the animal off the ropes. Oh, man, over. Look at the Baron. The Baron is going to go. He's up. He's fired up. Here's the claw. Here's the claw. There it is. The Baron has the claw on the animal. This could and be it. The ring. Could this be the end of the Road Warriors? The Baron with the claw. Oh, but in comes the hawk. Here's the tag and Kurt Hennig back in while the animal's still woozy. Pounds on him. Fire the whip off. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, the with the Elbow smash. Kurt Hennig on the second rope. Boys, here he comes. Oh, he got him with the drop kick. Flying drop kick off the rope. Kurt Hennig. Oh, missed that one. Oh, he comes right off. Oh, he's right caught on. in the rope. And he's caught, caught in, in the rope. rope. I gotta help him out of there. Larry the axe Hennig. Take off those headphones. Larry the Axe Hennig now is going to try and help Kurt off the ropes. Look at him. He's all twisted up and caught on the ropes. You see Larry Hennig trying to help Kurt. But now the Hawk starts pounding away on Larry the Axe Hennig. 
And on Kurt, who's all caught up in the ropes. Oh, and it's Mayhem. Larry the X heading now. Larry heading coming in with a folding chair. Here comes Henning with a folding chair. And the Hawk nails him. Kurt Henning still trussed up in the rope. Look out! Now oh, the folding chair by the Hawk. The Hawk using the folding chair. Now Precious Paul Ellering coming in to help as well. You see it right above our broadcast position. Here comes Larry the Axe Henning. Oh, there goes referee Larry Lazowski. Look at this. Total pandemonium. Larry the Axe Henning has just leveled. There goes the animal. There goes Precious Paul Ellering. Larry the Axe Henning cleaning house. Blood streaming from the forehead of Kurt Henning down in front of us. The bell ringing as they're trying to free Kurt Henning from the ropes. Larry the Axe Henning destroying the Rome Warriors. There they go out of the ring. There they go, the Road Warriors. Kurt Hennig now finally freed from the ropes. The match is over, and Larry the Axe Hennig calling for a doctor now. Get a doctor! Ladies and gentlemen, the match has been ruled no contest and out of control. Huh? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's still going. Now, wait a minute. The fans getting into it with the Road Warriors as they leave the arena. All right, wrestling fans, again, absolutely everyone here. Unbelievable at what took place. Precious Paul Ellery. I can't believe the action of Animal and Hawk, what you did to Kurt Hennig, about the worst I have ever seen in professional wrestling. It's not nice to fool with the Legion of Doom. <laughs> you know, FDR once said, nothing happens in politics by accident. Well, think about this, Larry Hennig. Nothing happens in the ring by accident. We went in there and we did it calculatingly cold. <laughs> Tell him, Hawk. What's Larry Henning so hot about? Just because we beat the living hell out of his son? Just because he was gushing blood everywhere to be seen? What are you so hot about? Well, you just keep hot because you're going to need that temper for us. In New York, the Meadowlands, you're going to need every advantage you can get. But it still ain't going to make any difference. The people in New York know it too. Ain't nobody ever in the stinking world going to beat us. Tell them, animal. Hey, it's just another stinky case of when we have somebody right where we want them that another outside party comes in. Kurt Henning made his own mistake. He got himself tangled up in the ropes and Von Rasky was illegal and he comes in and attacks me well only natural when two against one my partner's gonna come in and get him out we got him out of our hair and then larry henning comes up when he's supposed to be commentating Kurt Henning made his own mistake trying to wrestle the warriors and trying to take our belts on tv and we put you in your place chicago style stand where we did in the street with blood so you can't get up that's just too bad, Henning.
the instructions being given in the center of the ring by referee Jim Mitchell as this father and son tag team combination of Larry the Axe Hennig and Kurt Hennig the double axe attack seek to dethrone the tag team champions of the world the Legion of Doom the animal and the hawk and this is going to be some match from start to finish as Larry the Axe Hennig is in the ring at the start along with the animal Larry the Axe at 322 pounds the animal 287 the animal now with a headlock on Larry the Axe heading and the animal comes off the rope and you saw a little of any effect of that shoulder block on Larry the Axe Hennig believe you me the Hennigs have worked together long and hard to get ready for this opportunity to become a father and son tag team championship combination they feel they already are that that it's just a matter of officially getting the job done in the ring and they will have the belts well that's the tough part of it to say the least Larry the accenting has the animal tied up in his own way the animal tags off to the hawk in at 278 their combined weight 565 it's a combined weight of 557 for the Hennigs Larry the Axe nodding his head in approval saying hey any way you want to go baby comes in puts a bear hug on the hawk Jim Mitchell signifying that the hawk has said no I do not submit these guys by these guys I refer to the animal and the hawk won the tag team championship as now suddenly the hawk hammers away on Larry the Axe Hennig and has him tied up in a front face lock they won the tag team championship of the world August 25th 1984 at the showboat in Las Vegas beating the then champions Baron Von Raschke and the Crusher still you have the hawk with a front face lock on Larry the Axe Hennig look at there as referee Jim Mitchell had the count and going and the hold had to be broken off the ropes the Hawk pays the price of a Larry Hennig elbow to the side of the head and he is stunned but not for long ah show of strength here there are some who say that the Hawk at 278 pounds is actually stronger than the animal well I don't know about that they are both tremendously strong but then so is as you see Larry the Axe Hennig the Hawk likes to press wrestlers meaning lift them up above his head or his head yes with both hands and then send them crashing to the canvas well he's not going to do that at least not this time with Larry the Axe Hennig who is tagged in his son Kurt and Kurt has a powerful side headlock going here on the Hawk the animal from across the way as you saw or see leaning in hoping that he can get a tag and he does the Hawk hangs on as the animal comes in and a double sledge to the back of the head of Kurt Hennig and a body slam Kurt Hennig rolls out of the way there as you saw the elbow smash gets a side headlock here on the animal and pinches it tight but the animal takes him across the ring shoulder block down goes Kurt and up and over goes Kurt drop kick by Kurt on the animal 
an arm drag. One thing that Kurt Hennig has going for him in the ring with either the animal and or the hawk is his youth and his quickness. But of course the thing that he doesn't have is the size of either of them. Although Kurt is not a small man by any stretch of the imagination, 235 pounds. But 235 is not 278 or 287. And that's the hawk and the animal respectively here for this one. Capacity crowd looking on as this tag team championship of the world match goes on. Rod Trongard at ringside with the call of the action. In the ring, the Hawk and Kurt Hennig. And they're pretty well locked up. It's the Hawk who rakes the hand across the eyes of Kurt Hennig. Kurt ducks a punch. Kurt with a flying body slam. He's got the Hawk down, but not for long. And he has a flying drop kick that sends the Hawk to the ropes. Again to the ropes goes the Hawk. And now there is a judo chop by Kurt Hennig. Flips over, somersault, tries to get the Hawk down, but the Hawk rips a right hand to his head, and Hennig is stunned. Kurt, son of Larry, the double axe attack, going against the Legion of Doom. And it is Kurt taking a tremendous, vicious elbow smash from the Hawk who was tagged in the animal. But Jim Mitchell, I'm sure, did not see this. Is he going to allow it? It is the Hawk with a front face lock here. Apparently, Mitchell missed it completely. Kurt Henning trying to take the air out of the Hawk. The Hawk whips him across the ring, picks him up. Oh, what a body slam! Oh, my gosh, how anybody can withstand that, I don't know. And Larry the Axe Henning could not stand in the corner and watch it happen to his son as he came in. But he know his son has to pay the price. Kurt staggering around that ring. Hopefully, he can stagger in the direction of his father, as you see there. The Hawk, or the animal, rather, picking up. Kurt Hennig by the neck and hoisting him five feet off the canvas. Ah, uh, now you have the animal, or rather, we'll get these guys straight sooner or later. Let's see who we got in the ring going now. This is the animal. Nope. This is the hawk. Tremendous right hand by the hawk. And fighting right back is Kurt Hennig. But back comes the hawk. The Hawk at 278. The Animal at 287. Chin lock. The Hawk with a chin lock here on Kurt Hennig. Referee Jim Mitchell checking with Kurt to see if he's okay, if he wants to submit. And there in your camera for the moment, in your picture for the moment, was precious Paul Ellering. You saw the left arm of Ellering. And now it is Kurt Hennig trying to get out of the ring and get at Ellering. Crawls back in and pays the price in the person of the Hawk and a hard right hand and an Irish rip and an elbow smash that just about took his head off. Kurt Hennig in deep, deep, deep trouble. Trying to find his dad, Larry the Axe. Instead, drives the hawk into the corner. In comes the animal. Oh, what pressure. Oh, what pressure by the animal. All 287 pounds of him. As you see, his hands cupped under the chin of Kurt Hennig. Oh. Tremendous punishment being absorbed by young Kurt Hennig out of Robbinsdale, Minnesota. However, he forced the animal to his knees and somehow the animal tagged in the hawk. But also in comes Larry the Axe Hennig, but only for the moment. The hawk now pressing Kurt Hennig over his head. Hennig works his way free. What has he got going? Does he have a cover on the roll? He couldn't hold him. 
Kurt Henning just has taken too much punishment and the strength of his is sap. He was able to do it for a moment as he is able to flail away with both fists there to the midsection for the moment, but there isn't all that on those punches because he has been in there for a long, long time. Look at that knee lift, almost catapulting Kurt Hennig out of the ring. Again, it is the Hawk working over Kurt Hennig. Now the animal, I believe, has been tagged in. It is the animal, but a reversal here by Kurt Hennig. But can he take advantage of it? Can he get over and tag off with his father? No, he cannot. He just can't get there. He just does not have the presence of mind and a lot of things. And oh, what a clothesline there by the animal. A cover, one and two, but that's all. Larry the Axe came in, came to the aid of his son, but just as quickly has to retreat. Off the second rope comes the Hawk with an elbow smash to the side of the head. The Hawk trying to put away Kurt Hennig. Kurt, a very, very well conditioned and resilient young man. If he wasn't all of those things in spades, this match would have been over a long, long time ago. The Hawk continues to work over Kurt Hennig. He is gonna have to get to his tag team partner, his father, soon. He cannot make it, but Larry the Axe comes in nonetheless. Again, he is ushered out by Jim Mitchell. The animal has been tagged in, and he has a front face lock here and a forearm smash going on Kurt Hennig, who comes rifling back with a hard right hand of his own, but he has only one. Body slam. Hennig flat on his back in the center of the canvas. Here comes the animal, and Henning got the legs up, and he caught the animal flush in the midsection on the way down. Now, can Kurt Henning get to his father for the tag off? He does. And here is Larry the Axe attack. Larry the Axe driving the animal into his tag team partner. Down on the floor goes the Hawk. Larry the Axe, clothesline, elbow smash, tags in his son, Kurt. Kurt coming off that top rope with a flying drop kick. Now he has the animal covered, gets a count of one, and precious Paul Ellering reaches in and drags Kurt Hennig away. Oh, what a war is going on inside that squared circle. There you have a shot to the throat by Kurt Hennig. One to the jaw by Hennig. Elbow smash to the top of the head by Hennig. And then Kurt takes a double hammer into the middle of the back by the Hawk who came into the ring without the aid of the tag. And so is Larry the Axe Hennig. So is Paul he Ellering. He's being hammered almost into a state of unconsciousness in the corner. And now a forearm smash to the middle of the back and both the Hawk and the Animal, the Legion of Doom are out of the ring. They have gone up and over the top rope and we may have a disqualification here. The team of Larry the Axe Hennig and Kurt Hennig no doubt have been disqualified because, let's listen here. Well, in case you might not have understood that, it's not perfectly clear from our vantage point as of yet either. Larry the Axe Hennig is very unhappy with the decision of Marty Miller and you have seen there a forearm smash or Jim Mitchell rather that has driven Mitchell to the canvas. What I believe the decision was as you saw Kurt Hennig come off the top rope strand with that flying drop kick and you cannot come off the top rope strand or it was either that or either the hawk or the animal being hoisted up and over the top rope and to the cement floor below. Either of those moves, both of which happened, result in disqualification by the offending team, and that team in this instance being Larry the Axe Hennig and Kurt Hennig. They retain their tag team championship. The Animal, the Hawk, Precious Paul Ellering, the Legion of Doom.
All right, well, Precious Paul Ellering certainly a strange twist of events. Again, you tried to interfere in the oh, match. I never tried to do nothing. the ring, but this time when the Hennings pulled you in. To get no the way. Referee Jim Mitchell disqualified them. No, no. Resnick. Why don't you smarten up? These people ain't stupid, you know. They've seen what happened. The Hennings DQ'd themselves because they knew they were going to get beat. They couldn't take it like men because we were taking it to them. They were going to get beat. They DQ'd themselves. Hey, Resnick. Look at this! We're a sticking world champion! We're just gonna put up with this crap! Everybody in St. Paul, they saw I had Kurt Henning beat! You know, they're worse than Vernon and Greg Gagne! I had a beat with my clothesline, and Larry had to say the stinking little baby son! Then Larry has gotta grab my manager! Where's Nick? We won the match! Them two cheaters, they ain't never get another shot with us! Uh, that's right, that seems like the only way you can put some sense! into these Hennings is to knock it out. Well, we did that tonight, Hennings. You've had your last shot. And any team that wants to enter the Twilight Zone with the Legion of Doom better get ready to enter a new dimension because we're going to beat y'all just the way we always do. Easy. One, two, three. We still got the belts. You don't like it? No. We don't care. There's trouble coming down. Pop and the animal are coming to town. Everybody's talking. They don't say a thing. But everybody knows that the warriors will bring. Any of the cruisers. Be there. Blasting from Chicago, you'll see him everywhere. If James Dean were alive, I know he'd be.